Hi guys, we're back with lesson three and we're going to finish our pumpkin hopefully in this lesson. If not, well, I'll do one more with a few extra touch-ups. But anyway, so we were working on our grass when I the video got cut off a little bit, but you didn't miss anything. So um, let's tap into our green again. Okay, green and a little bit of blue just to darken it, keep it a bit dark. So green and a bit of blue. Okay, so just more green than blue. Up. Okay, more green than blue. And then just tap on again. See, and you tap over what you already did, that will thicken it up really nice. And so just keep tapping and tapping and tap, 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 tap. There we go. So we get some nice pretty grass. You can also pull up a few little bits of grass here like this. All right, and then you can come in here. Get some more green, a bit of blue, tap around the bottom of your pumpkin, pull up a few little bits of grass. There we go. All right, so we're going to keep doing that until we get what we're looking for. I'm just going in and darkening it up. All right, you can see I have a bit of blue there. So as you go around, you put some fresh paint on there, you just bring some grass up around. Your pumpkin and up around here some more green a little bit of blue okay so tap 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 pull tap 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 pull pull there we go tap and pull pull up oh, oh. all right so we'll do that good now while we're waiting for that to dry a little bit um, I'm going to do a few more touch-ups on the pumpkin so let's go back into some yellow and we'll touch up this a little bit up here, just a little bit more. You have as much as you want. Just a little bit here, okay. I just love doing highlights. Just a little bit of yellow, just to, just to bring it to life. The more highlights, the more details, it really brings it to life. So that's why I love doing them. Just scrape some of the leftover paint that you have on there. Just scrape that into your leaf. Perfect. Anything left over on this one, you can just drag that into there. Perfect. And let's put uh, some more yellow up here because I, I like this brightness up here. It's nice. Okay, so bring your yellow up here on the top. Whatever's left over, you can just drag it down into your pumpkin. And see where the paint is dry underneath? Well, that's then you lose your orange because it's um, because it's dry. So when the paint underneath is dry, then what goes on top obviously then covers it up. So just say, say you're painting and and you lost too much orange, and you're like, oh, what do I do now? What you can do is go back in and get some, clean your brush off, go in and get some more orange and just put in more orange back into where you feel like you lost it, okay? Just bring it back in, that's all. And because all these little details, you can play around with them. On the very end, when you get the main drawings done and the main paint in there and you get everything in order and then when you got almost all of it done, then you can go back in and do some highlights and shadows and all kinds of good stuff. So I'm just going to leave that there like that. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I'm going to make some squiggly lines with my liner brush. See that? You can, it's a liner brush or it's called a script liner brush. I think script liners are longer than the liner brushes. I have, you know, shorter brushes here. But for now, we get this started. So let's let's pull through some yellow and some white and a little bit of green. Okay? So I got some yellow and white and green. I just pulled it through on my I just pulled it through like pull it through. Pull through. Pull through, pull through. Okay, and then just pick a spot where you want some of these squiggly lines. Pull out and ooh. 
Okay, that didn't work out, but that's okay. Not to worry. See, I don't worry because I guess you say I have some confidence because I paint so much. So I don't think I can fold it up, and yet I could. But anyway, I'm going to try again. So I'm going to pull up and make a squiggly, squiggly. So you can make a few of those and uh, make, um, let me see, let me see. Let's drag one up here. Uh, so it only goes to show you, you need lots of paint on your brush. Lots, lots, lots. Okay, so take that one up, 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 up and around. And around, maybe a couple of smaller ones. Okay, so let's I'm gonna add some more white to that one. Probably try another one, just take it out from here and make a few squigglies. Just to give it a little bit of fun. Okay, you don't have to do that, but I kind of think it's cute. So while we got that going, rub your brush through yellow and green again. And this time, bring up some of these two grasses like that. Just pull up a few. There we go. Pull through lots of paint. As you can see, you need lots of paint. Okay, so just bring up a few of these. If you won't move, dip your brush in some water and then go back in and get your paint. And you don't need to wipe off your brush this time because you want it to move better. Okay, so bring up a few of these little. There we go. Just a few. Okay, now, there we go. So if your paint won't move, we'll try it again. Just take, pull through the green, pull through the yellow, and pull up, pull up, pull up. Some might be falling over, so you can go to the left and go to the right, and up in the center, left and the right in the center. Okay, we'll, we'll just leave that. Now what I'm going to do is, with the grass, is I'm going to get a fan brush and that way you get to use a fan brush. So I'll get my fan brush, since I can find it here. Okay, here it is. Okay, so take your fan brush, tap it into some green, okay? Tap it into green and then just tap some grass around here. Okay, so then we're going to lighten that up again. So we'll just tap, 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 tap. Some grass, some grass all over the place. Good. So keep doing that till you get what you're looking for. And we'll add some yellows just to brighten it up. Okay, so there we go. Just tap around your grass. Good. So just keep doing that all over the place. You get a bit of grass going on there. I'm just tapping a little bit hard just to get some detail there. There we go. A bit of green, a bit of yellow. Up around here. Pull up, pull up. Touch. Tap. Tap, 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 tap. And pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up some of these grasses here. Pull them up. Just to make it look like grass. Okay, and just keep tapping away. Very easy. All right, there we go. Just keep tapping away. Just to make it look a little like, you can push a little hard, not real hard, but a little hard so that it doesn't look like just lines, so it looks like grass or little things going on there. Okay, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Perfect. We're almost done here now. So, and now when I'm finished, you can add whatever you want to it. Okay, I'm not going to go on to much more. I'm just trying to concentrate. My main thing to teach you today is how to do a pumpkin with a little bit of grass around it. I'm not really trying to get into any other things. I can do another video on that, but we want to call this finished soon. So, There we go, some grass is going on. Pull them up around up around the pumpkin. Good. So that's about 
about it. Now you can add whatever you want. And I'm just going to show you that if you take a, a brush, a big old brush, this one here, which is one I got at the store, and uh, it was in a painting part of the store, okay? So those brushes are great for making these nice little flowers. So I got a better one here. Look, it's got a better top on it. So did I move that on you? Sorry. I don't have much room here. Okay, so I'm just going to dampen that a little bit, and then I'm going to go in and find some color. I'm going to put in some red. I got a bit of other colors mixed in. And look, you get some of the tops, really. And you can just throw in some flowers here and there. That's all. Just simple little flowers. Okay? And so when you do that, you can even put some down by, by the uh, pumpkin. Little flowers. Don't have to be too much, you know. You just dip into probably some yellow, yellow, and whatever colors are on your palette. And then you get some nice pretty flowers, okay? So I'm going to leave you with that. I think I got everything done that I wanted to do, and hopefully that was a help to you. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video later down the road. Bye!